Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another review. And today, I have a wireless HDMI extension kit from our friends at Amiibo that will allow you to share all of your HDMI media content from one location with a second remote location up to 200 meters away over a wireless connection in full HD 1080p resolution. The transmitter module features local loopback functionality, which means you can enjoy the content here while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to the remote location. The remote receiver provides KVM functionality, which allows you to connect up a keyboard and mouse here at the remote location and remotely control a computer that's connected up over here. The kit even includes a set of infrared adapters that will collect up the remote control signals at that second location and send those back over that same wireless connection to the primary site where they're rebroadcast to control the content you're watching at that remote site. Now this product can be used in one of two ways, a one-to-one -one relationship like I've just described where you want to extend HDMI content to a second location, or it can be used in a many-to-one configuration where you can have one receiver connected to a widescreen display and up to four transmitters connected that will share that receiver and you can decide which of those transmitters are displayed on that screen at any given time. And that's perfect if you have a conference room and multiple presenters that need to share a widescreen TV, you can connect this up to the monitor, give each one of the presenters their own transmitter and decide which of them get to present at any given time. Now before I get too deep into the review, I always like to start with an unboxing of a product to show you everything that's included with the kit and boy did this company give you everything you need. And then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter and the receiver and explain the connections and indicators. I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product is to use. And then finally I'll come back with a few thoughts that you can use to compare this product to other HDMI extension kits you may be considering. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the transmitter module and the receiver module. There are two power supplies included. These are DC power supplies. You'll plug this into a standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the transmitter and receiver modules and provides all the power you'll need. You'll also find a set of infrared adapters. There's a receiver and a transmitter, and it's important you match those up with the transmitter and receiver modules. And you'll know this one is the receiver because it's a little bit larger. Also in the kit, you'll find a USB-A to USB-A cable, and that's used at the transmitter side to connect up your computer to this end so you can control it from the keyboard and mouse at the remote location. This product is also capable of sending audio through the auxiliary connection between the locations, and they actually include a really nice three and a half millimeter uh, cable you can use to connect up your media device here or your speaker system at the remote location. And finally, also included is a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and all the details you'll need to understand to use this product correctly. So I always recommend reading through that manual before you connect it up. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both of the modules, do the demonstration, and point out a few things that really separate this from other HDMI extension kits on the market. Inside the kit, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module. Two sets of antennas, one set for each of the two modules, and I'll show you where they connect in a second. You'll also find two infrared adapters. One is labeled infrared in, the other is labeled infrared out. The infrared in is the larger of the two, and that connects to the receiver module. The infrared out connects to the transmitter module, and it's important you plug those into the correct modules for proper operation. Now, the two modules feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable and help to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. On the front of the transmitter module, starting on the left, you'll find a reset button. You can use a paper clip and gently push that button to reset the module if needed. To the right of that is a power indicator. The minute you add power to the module, it starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all the electronics, make sure everything's working okay. When it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the module's ready to use. To the right of that is a link indicator. When both modules are powered up, they'll make a connection over the wireless network and that light will come on in both modules, letting you know that wireless connection is good. To the right of that is a status indicator. When you connect up an HDMI media source to the transmitter and a monitor to the receiver and start sending content, that light will blink, letting you know media content's being transmitted. There's a mode button right here that's used with these two LEDs, and that's explained in the manual. It has to do with HDCP, and you have a couple of different adjustments you can make with that button. To the right of that is an ID button. This unit can be used in either switched mode or split mode. In split mode, you can actually set an ID for each one of the transmitters because the receiver can work with up to eight different transmitters and you can set that mode right here by tapping that button. To the right is a switch that either puts it in switched mode or split mode, depending on how you're gonna use it. If you want a one-to-one -one relationship, you're gonna use it in switch mode. If you want a one-to-many, you're gonna put it in split mode and then these indicators come into play. On the bottom are some rubber feet to keep it from sliding around. 
And on the rear of the unit, you'll find the two antenna posts. Again, you'll use the antennas that are included with the kit. You'll finger tighten those on these posts and stand them straight up. Power port right here that you use with the included power supply. You'll plug it into the wall, plug the barrel connection in here. There are two HDMI ports right here on the transmitter. HDMI in connects to whatever media device you'd like to share with the remote location. The HDMI out port is used for the local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content here that you're transmitting to the secondary location. This module can also transmit auxiliary audio, and you can use the included cable to connect this up to a media source. Here's where the infrared adapter plugs in. And if you're using this with a PC, you use the cable that's included with the kit to connect this directly from here to your PC for remote control from that secondary site. The receiver has a similar set of indicators across the front, reset button, power, link, status. You can set the modes here as well using that mode button. You can set the IDs here using the ID button. And again, you wanna make sure this switch is set up to either split or switched, and you can make sure that they match each other. Again, rubber feet on the bottom, two antenna connections on the back, a power port that's used with the second power supply, another HDMI port that's used to connect up a monitor to the remote receiver. You can use a short HDMI cable to do that. If you're using the auxiliary audio connection on the transmitter, you'll plug whatever amplifier you'd like in right here to listen to the music you're sending from the primary site. The second infrared adapter plugs in there. There are two full-sized USB-A ports right there that are used for connecting a mouse or a keyboard and two antenna posts that you'll connect up the second set of antennas to so you can receive the signal from the transmitter. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently displaying an image of a game console on this monitor, and that's the media content I'd like to share with my remote location. Now that can be any device with an HDMI output. Over here, I've set up a second monitor that represents my remote location. It's wherever I'd like to enjoy the content from the primary site, and it can be up to 200 meters away. In front of me, I have the transmitter module and the receiver module. The first set of connections I'll make are to the transmitter module, and I'll start by disconnecting my media device from the monitor and plugging that into the HDMI input port on the back of the transmitter. And now I'm ready to add power. I've already plugged the power supply in. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection, and I'll plug that into the power port. And now we can make our connections to the receiver. I've got an HDMI cable connected up to the monitor. I'll plug that into the HDMI output port of the receiver. And now I can add power over here. Again, I've plugged the power supply in, barrel connection into the power port. Now, the minute I add power to both of these modules, they immediately start an internal power on self-test where they're checking all the electronics to make sure everything is working okay. And as they power up, they're bringing the wireless network alive. They're looking for each other. They're looking for a handshake back and forth. This one is checking the resolution of my media source. This one's checking the resolution of the monitor. And once they make the connection between the two, they're gonna make adjustments to give you the best possible picture on that remote receiver. And there you go. Again, there's no connection between these except for that wireless connection. Now, one advantage to this particular product is it provides a loopback function at the primary side, which allows me to enjoy the content here that I'm simultaneously broadcasting to the remote location. And to use that feature, you'll need a second HDMI cable and you'll connect one end of it to the monitor that you'd like to see that content on. And the second end of it will connect to the HDMI output port on the transmitter. It'll take a second for it to make adjustments to accommodate this monitor. And there you go, there's the actual image at the remote site and at the primary site. And the best part about this is that you can still continue to enjoy the content in your media center, where you're watching the content today, while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to that remote bedroom upstairs. And it really is just that simple to get it working. I hope that closer look and demonstration were helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when comparing this particular HDMI extension kit to others you may be considering. And the first thing has to do with the distance between the primary and secondary locations. This product fully supports a 200 meter extension between your primary and remote location, and it can transmit a full HD 1080p media stream between those two locations. Other kits on the market may have a shorter distance that are using wireless technology, and the reason this one can transmit up to 200 meters is it's using the very latest in 5.8 gigahertz transmission technology, which guarantees a rock solid signal between your primary and secondary locations. Another cool feature is the local loopback functionality at the primary side, which allows you to enjoy the content here that you're simultaneously broadcasting to your remote location. And that's important because the transmitter is typically located in your media center at home where you're enjoying the content today. And having the local loopback means you can continue to enjoy the content while you're sharing it with that secondary location. Other kits may not provide that, and then you can not actually enjoy the content here. You can either enjoy it here or only transmit it to the secondary location. So having both is a really nice feature. 
Another thing I liked is the KVM functionality at the receiver end, which allows me to connect up a keyboard and mouse here and remotely control the computer at the primary location. A lot of other kits don't include that. I also like the fact that they've included infrared adapters that will pick up the remote control signals from that secondary location and allow me to control the content that's down here at the primary location from that remote location. So that means I can start and stop and rewind and fast forward all the content I'm enjoying, and that's really a benefit. One last thing I wanted to mention was that the kit itself is complete. Everything you need to get started is included with it, so you can basically unbox it, connect it up to your media device, connect it up to a monitor at a remote location, and immediately start to enjoy that content. It works with most modern media devices, and it supports all of the codecs that are out there and all of the HDMI standards that you care about for 1080p media content. And that's pretty much all I had for today. So I hope you enjoyed this review, and until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.